Welcome back everybody to the forest. So far we are on day 24 in our survival and I've got some more progress. Last episode we did a little bit of caving, like a very little bit, just kind of getting our bearings within this cave here. Now I want to keep going on deeper and see what is in this cave because it does split off into three different paths just after here. Uh, but before we do that, there's something that I need to tell you, so it's nothing major. <laughs> It's just a plan. So me and Matt in a previous world have come up with an idea. Well, it's, it's not new. Uh, in Minecraft, there's a common method to find out which way is deeper into a cave and which way is the way out. So you do that by placing torches on the right hand side, constantly on the right hand side. So then when you come in, if you go in the other way, the torches on the left hand side and you know that is towards the exit. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building some lights throughout here so we can get our bearings. You can see a very strange white thing down there. I think that's a bit of a lighting bug actually. But just very quickly, I'm going to just put a drying rack down here because it would be handy to have one of these around. There's no good spot really. I think that's probably the best one. I mean, it could go here, but there's a torch there. So yeah, I'm going to build it here. Not sure if we've been up here before. see some stuff. I'm not, I don't think I've ever been here before actually. That noise, it sounds like something's grinding against rock. There's that noise again. I don't know what it was pointing towards though. Was there a, a picture? Someone definitely had a camp set up here. There's nothing, like, incredible up here at all, just a few crates. So I wonder if they're going to add something here in the future. There, that noise. You see, it's strange, because when we were playing on our other world, the multiplayer world, um, I was a, like, a, a non-local player, a client, and I could hear it. I, I couldn't hear it as clear as a host. And I think it's... Well, the location or the place that you hear it coming from depends on the player. Yeah, you see that lighting down there? It's not real, it's just it, it happens to me in certain locations so that the light... Yeah, you see now it's gone? What the hell's this? Is that a human heart? A Timmy drawing. Oh god. Oh, what's that? I don't want anything to sneak up on me. Is that... Oh, I think that's part of Timmy's toy. The top half of the toy. Let's take a look. Yeah, broken toy. <gasps> Full toy. Oh my god. I think that leads back up to cave one. Oh no, I keep calling it cave one, but it's like the one at the bottom right hand side. We don't want to be going that way, so I'm going to head back. Now I want to be able to... I've got, I'm going to place them as far apart as... Well, when the light stops, I'm going to place the next one here so I can get around without my light out. I'm just going to go around and grab some more meat so I'm stocked up for the development of this base further. Right, so I've done quite far. But let's just take a look. So if we go to the very top here, turn our lights off. Now this is all lit up really easily. I can see everything, no worries at all. And then if I turn around, that moved and I saw that. And then now the left says, right, I'm now going towards the exit. So it's a really cool system for getting around, plus you've also got the map, so sooner or later navigating these caves, in places that I've been anyway, places that I haven't been, as soon as I come across some sort of light source, I will be able to find my way out of here. So yeah, I would just build a bench, but it requires... is it only two fur? Oh, we'll build one of those then. I thought it required much more fur than that. And we'll put it right here. Wait, have I run out of, I've run out of sap? 
I need some more sap. Right, what I'm going to do quickly then is... See, I've got an old pot. I'm going to build a... Uh, a couple of sap collectors around here. You see, I've just noticed there's also a path right here. Uh, which leads straight to the cave. So what I'm going to do is build... Where are you? Build the rock path all the way across here. I think that would look really nice, having the path connecting. Because it does, it does spread out all the way around here. I think it uh, goes off here. Around, into the village, off to the left. And splits off to the left and comes up here. It's perfect for what we need. It leads straight to our base. Go on there. Is this the right spot? I don't think... Do I really want it here? Yeah, why not? We can always remove it. Alright, so that should now start to collect sap. And I'm going to build a few more, because we will be using a lot. So I'm going to try and find the closest old pot. Hey, there we go. Let's hope there's an odd pot here. Come on, you know you want to. Yes, nice. God, it's lovely here. There was one point in our multiplayer world where we were I was on my own adventuring out. And I was running through here only to go up to our base. I think it was that way anyway. Yep. Yeah. Uh we were going I was going up that way to the uh the outside base. And I looked behind me and I could see trees falling. I was like, oh, that's weird. Did I throw some dynamite? I, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I just looked back and studied it for a second, and there was an armsy just plowing through all the trees and knocking them down. I just kept on running while screaming, and I, I looked back once once it like gone. I went went that far. I came back. Yeah, when I <laughs> I came back and there was just that many trees on the ground, logs everywhere. It was ridiculous. All right, let's uh let's move on this rock path, shall we? Building. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ah! A hundred rocks? Oh my god. I'm gonna quickly destroy this uh, stump here. Seems to be in the way of our path. I think I've killed enough birds. <laughs> They've all just been landing in the spot, so I've slowly just been killing them off one by one. And you're about to die, right? No! You should have died. Okay, I know it's really hard to see at the moment. There we go, but the rock path is complete. So I've only done it from the dock there to the village. Not very far. It didn't take too long either because the rocks respawn quite rapidly around here. And I've also built another sap collector. So that should help out quite a bit. Now one bug that I have noticed with smaller trees is the sap collectors do appear to float. Now you can tell that they're built for bigger trees. Probably like, no, that one's probably not a good example. Like this one here, you can see right here, this is like, this, this looks right. I haven't spent any time over here in a long time, so I'm gonna, well, a, lo a long time for me, not a long time for you guys, so. I did start to build that, but it's wrong, I don't like it. I need to rebuild this staircase here. I had them like that before, and I just, I can't, I need to rebuild this staircase primarily. Oh my god, how many hits? There we go. See, I think it will buff up a little bit as well, so hopefully that will work. If not, we'll try and use the hole cutter to get rid of this. Oh wow, he's checking out the path. So cool having this platform out here. Now, I do want a weapons wall, and I'm not sure if I should put it here. Like, this isn't really a suitable space. I think the weapons wall should be up top. But I've got the katana, and I've, I've previously done this, and it looks so nice having the katana find it. Like, if I just sit down here, like, having lots of stuff displayed right there in the screen. So, I'm gonna get a... It's on decorations. The weapon rack. There we are. I'll put it just there. And then place the katana down. It's a little bit off, but I mean, it's okay. Now, in case you didn't know, you can actually place Timmy drawings down. See? It's got a little C, but you can't get rid of them after, so... Okay, you got to be really careful where you place them. Ha! Get out of here. What are you doing? Now, I'm also going to dangle a skull lamp in the center of this desk here. I, just think, I know it's going to have a lot of light around here, but I think it'll look so nice. There you go. 
It's even angled towards the chair. I mean, I didn't intend for that to happen, but I mean, it is. It kind of looks really nice. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, I could do some really strange stuff if I would... If I just built a world that was so peculiar... You could do some stuff that will... Why is there so many cannibals over there all the time at night? Well, I mean, there, I know there's a village, but still. Like, there's a lot. So it's another day in the forest, and... Was that tree there before? I, I don't think it was. That's spawned from nowhere. There was no stump here before. Ah, oh, this infinite tree's back again. Except, can I cut it down? I can cut it down this time. Oh, spoke too soon. I'm gonna very quickly do some controlled detonations. Haha. <laughs> I don't want this tree growing back again. See, no, there was no stump animation as well. That's um, a peculiar... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Where was that? Oh. I want to find it. I can hear it, like, right here. Is that it? Oh, I see you. What are you doing out here, baby? All alone? Got any friends? Any parents that I should know about? What? You didn't tell me about your brother? We're getting attacked right now, I know it. Watch, like, of two Virginias just, like, come over the hill right there and jump down. And, like, three arms is attackers and wardeners down. There you go, someone over there. You clumsy git. Where are you? Oh, I'm just scared of the parents now. I've just killed two babies. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I keep seeing them doing that. They're like praying. There has to have been a Virginia or an Anzi out there. Come to think of it, I don't really think that the babies travel with an Anzi. This cave just feels so welcoming now. Like, coming into this cave here, it's not scary. It's just so relaxing and comforting. So I, I kind of want to carry on this pattern further down here. But I, I want to try something quickly first. Okay, so it's going to take some time, but I can continue these beams upwards. Like that. Not the best, but I'm just going to see how that looks. Like, supposed to like supports? What do you think? I know that's not the best of examples, like I'm going to do one down here now. Okay, that took so much longer than it should have, and it's not even perfect. Let's just do it anyway, because it's just a test, really. Yeah, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not really going to do any more of that, because I think I've just kind of sabotaged part of my base. There we go. See, I wish that would stay lit. That looks so good. They're here again. There you are. Right, so thank you everybody for watching. Today's episode has been a big one. We've made a lot of progress in the caves. We've started to expand a little bit deeper into the cave systems. We've also built the rock path leading towards the caves, so I I'm really excited for where this cave is going to lead, and I just, I just, I really want to see what's down there. So if you guys do too, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button, and make sure to tune in for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next episode. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to quickly destroy this trump. I'm going to quickly destroy this trump here. Yeah? Oh, I said it again!